For the fourth year in a row, the Montgomery College men's soccer team is once again set to compete for the NJCAA D3 Men's Soccer National Championship, November 12th through the 15th in Herkimer, New York. The Raptors, under first-year head coach Trey Livingston, come into the tournament as the seventh seed and on a 14-game winning streak after taking the Region 20 and District F titles to punch their ticket to Nationals. The Raptors have a tough first-round matchup tomorrow at 4 p.m. against the number two seed and number two team in the national top ten, the Richland College Thunderducks from Texas. Richland is a high-scoring outfit, and they've won five of their last six heading into tomorrow's match. But before things get underway tomorrow at Wareham Field, it was time for some celebration and relaxation as the NJCAA held their annual kickoff banquet. All eight teams in the field were honored for their outstanding seasons. Each coach was given special recognition and the players got a chance to enjoy a great meal before the intensity is turned up tomorrow. After the banquet, I talked with MC's co-captain, Ernest Williams III, and I asked him if he felt the team was ready for tomorrow's challenge. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're peaking at the right time, and we're definitely ready for this game tomorrow, and we can't wait to move on, hopefully. I think everybody's going to play their heart out, um, and I predict MC wins 2-0. And I also talked with Raptors head coach, Trey Livingston. He's been here the last three years as the team's top assistant, but this year, it's a little different. Oh, the big, big difference is uh, you're the you're shot caller. You're the person making the final decision. So at times it's nerve wracking, but a lot of times it's very exciting to actually be that position in power and actually be making the final call at the end of it. And he feels his team has a special motivation this year. I feel like they're, they're more ready to, to prove a point. To, after last year's kind of disappointment in that first round game, they're here to kind of prove a point. And I think their focus mostly, especially from our final game against PG, you know, is very close to be going home right there. So I think they've kind of already had that intensity moment um, in terms of saying that, you know, that it can go either way. So they kind of know that they can't take anything for granted and they got to take everything serious from here on out. So they're very focused, they're prepared, you know, they're ready, I think, from training. I think, you know, this is the best team that we've had at MC, and I think we're going to do big things, but it has to start from tomorrow, which one thing I've told them, they had to learn from last year's group. And this group, I think, has learned from that, saying that they have to start right away from the tournament, because Thursday's the most important day. It's not Sunday, Thursday's the most important day for us. The all-important first round kicks off tomorrow at 11 a.m. when the host Herkimer, the number five seed, faces number four seed Camden County. That's followed by a 130 match between number one seed Genesee and number eight seed Bunker Hill. MC and Richland square off at four and the final match of the day pits number three seed Nassau against number six seed Bergen. So a big day ahead tomorrow as we begin to find out who will win the national championship. For the Raptor Report, I'm Michael Brown.